Hey guys, the title of this live is Transition and Growth. Now I'm at the Sydney airport. I believe transition and growth cannot happen without the support of other people who are doing and having a different slant in the world than you do. So I just spent two days with a guy, Taki Moore, and um, learned a whole bunch of stuff from him. It's awesome. Spent six days in America with a guy called JT Fox and um, an event that he was hosting which was um, really really different to anything I've ever experienced before and it was huge you know, you know, that I got the way that people thought was different I got a lot of insights I got a lot of information I got a lot of gifts now the coolest thing I got we did a round table afternoon and look the gifts come growth and transformation comes from everywhere I believe it comes from the person who is walking down the street to also the people who have amazing insights in life can really improve you in the best possible way that they can for your business as well if that's what you uh, are interested in now the coolest piece of information that I actually got was from a breakfast that I had this morning from Kiri Marie Moore, which is Taki's wife from Black Belt. And um, just one of those people that really, really gets under gets under my skin in a really good way. You know, she's she thinks really differently, she's really focused on humanitarian and um, sustainability and all the things that I'm really, really passionate about and helping people become more self-aware about what they can do to better themselves in every given moment and you know she gave me some great insights um, into you know some things that I can do to help improve my academy uh, just the way that she thinks you know and the thing that I want to hand hand you guys is that you know no matter what you do you can help someone and make it better no matter what you do in life you know helping helping put a smile on someone's face you know enriching someone's life uh, imagine doing that in the most impactful way that you possibly can now one of the things that I do well is I do really kind things when no one's looking so I was hanging out with the uh, security guards um, at the airport the security people and they wanted to they stopped me and I put my hands up and they said what are you doing and I said I'm after a hug you know so I wrapped my arms around the dude and gave him a huge hug. We had a big belly up, belly laugh and a bit of a chat. You know, we like we like doing the security here and he pointed at another guy and said, that guy needs a hug too, you know. So I wrapped my arms around him and so gave him a hug and then I double hugged the other guy. You know, and these are the things that, you know, I could have not done any of those things. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. But, you know, in any given moment, I'll do something that's gonna put a smile on someone's face because I know it's going to make a difference in someone else's life, you know, so impact happens no matter what you do, you know, and I've found, you know, with the work that I've been doing for such a long period of time that I believe that the more of a, a kind, caring heart that you have as often as you have and the, you know, the attention um, to connection, not attention to detail, the attention to connection that you can have by supplying um, a wondrous heart to the world is immeasurable, you know? And imagine what it would be like if the nice kindness was what people valued financially, you know? So this is what I'm really wanting in the academy. This is one of my big things that I do in my academy. For people who don't know, I run an academy to transition people to become coaches and um, to, if people don't want to do that, it's really deep personal development as well. So, you know, and the thing that's really important around this is really getting people to dig into their stuff and transitioning into the best people that they can. You know, and this is what I want to hand is, like the most important thing that I want to hand, hand to the world is that the nice person comes first, not the, um, authoritarian leader that the nice person is what comes first in the world so imagine what that would be like if every genuinely nice person valued themselves enough to earn really good finances by helping people become the best people that they can and this is the legacy I want to leave for 
sustainability connection and awareness is actually helping people realise that their high value can be actually financial value as well. And you know, when I'm sharing the stuff that I share in the academy, I'm watching people transition, change, become more and more self-aware, and lift their value um, over over the course of the, the course I'm running. And so my question to you is, you know, is value being um, kind and caring? Do you want that to come first in your world? You know, because uh, I want it to become a superpower that's monetized. Um, in a really, really healthy way that people can earn really, really good finances with the kindness and care in their heart because so many people don't value that on a financial level and I want to change that. That's one of my big passions in the world. Anyway, I'm going to head off, about to jump on a plane to Canberra and give my family a big squeeze. Haven't seen them in a few weeks. All right, see you guys.